Three, two, one. This is Tubbs. This is whack. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, apparently David Mitchell kept fish in the tank that all this was filmed in. No, 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 that was like the original plan, but then the goldfish died because of the uh, dye. Uh, <laughs> Death cannon. Important jobs in the port often kept them working night and day. More nice dark time. footage from the it's intro. Oh, so it's the lead scenes, oh my god. My bitch. Such great shots. You know what would be funny though? If there was like, when they were doing like a recording session, one of them accidentally knocked the script into the water. <laughs> yeah. They would have storyboards on set, yeah. Yeah. They just print them on like that padded plastic, like those like bath books you can get. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Warriors does the same face in that one shot earlier. Yeah, he's just. Yeah, I'm saying. So, how much Lego could you stuff up your bum? How oh, much Christ's <laughs> sake, warrior. <laughs> no, no, when you were younger. You are grim, warrior. You are cringe. <laughs> cringe. Now listen to me and listen good. Sonic is a bitch ass motherfucker. He pissed on my wife. What accent is this? Um, I still don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna start to hear all of this because they are literally in the background. Yeah, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> so oh. Wouldn't it hear both of them? Like, you're just over here in the background. They bet they're looking in the background. <laughs> The character hey, look, do Edward. jack shit in the whole show. <laughs> and Why does he never even appear in the briefing? I was, uh, I was looking for ten cents. Uh, sure. Yeah, we just found him. Oh, I'm oh. Find him. Oh. Like, what if it was like, oh, I'm twenty-five cents. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't seem to understand. <laughs> oh, like every starter has like cents at the end. What about fifty cent? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, so oh, Jay's 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 it's the best character. Look oh. how shorty. It's your birthday. Sense. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna sit Bacardi like it's your birthday. Yes, we know. What would you know about it, you South American ate my junk? Wow. We're just gonna go right there? The Duchess, she come in this morning, suddenly everybody busy. But Duchess is I love the fact that this guy is literally the one reason this show will never get widespread attention nowadays. Yeah. And the fact oh, that he actually really? has, like, a purpose in the plot, though, it's not just a background character for the yeah. show. It's like Zack had, like, the most detailed face mask. For the well, Zack is based series. off of Al Capone. Yeah. Mm. Really? Yeah, oh, it looks it, Al yeah. Capone. Yeah, I like how Top Hat was casually just working, and he just... And Warrior as well. Yeah. Yeah, don't... Oh, and look, they're just back again. So it's... I don't suspect... Oh, so it's the bit from the iceberg that you can tell. Oh, she's fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd fuck her. Look at those wings. I totally sliver yeah. one ten cents. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd fuck her. I'd Look at the knobs on top of her. <laughs> Zug. Wait, is there going to be a hat tip? I hope so. <laughs> the whole, the, the, they should all be Zug and the whole show should be called Zugs. <laughs> Is that all suck? I see an edit. <laughs> yes, oop, all suck. <laughs> that, that's oh, there you go, top ten. There you go. Oh, hi, Peter I'm drinking, Laurie. I'm drinking, don't worry. Do it fast and get back fast. And I'm only in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> what happened in the video? For the sake of. She could be. What? No money? A copy book. Who does Izzy Gomez work for? 
I'll be back in like a couple of months. I don't think it's confirmed. He works Mesa, for the banana you silly company. boy. Yeah. All yeah. that meant bananas. Yeah, I, I, I know, but like, what path? Yes, that's my boy Zip! Yeah. He's so happy. A Zug! He's so happy. I love how he's saying that even though he's just mad, that one shot. <laughs> They're all so happy. Oh yay, more footage from the intro! The intro. B wall footage! It was at McDonald's! Yeah, yeah, happy meal. Ten cents. Come on, Ooh. Oh. <laughs> 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 you a bit from the tape. Wait, are you guys are you guys watching something? Wait, this is something interesting. I want to point out when Big Mac is on like the on the, the key side. Bike. Yeah, if you notice, he has like a smiling face on. There you are. Big Mac. Uh, look, no, he's got a smiling yeah. face. No, he's he's happy about what he did. So I'm guessing in one of the early versions, Big Mac could have been happy to see them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, would you be happy to see them if they come for your rescue? Yeah. Oh shit, Sunshine's in the background. I didn't realize. Yeah. 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 I want to see an edit where it breaks off uh, Sunshine's stack. Yeah. Ready and. And Zoran's gone. Oh! <laughs> Out of control, it's just still. Could have been my Thomas it crisis. More, more deleted footage. Hooray! Shot with the fireworks. Did they just... Probably like filmed outside and probably in front of a green is screen. It? I'm trying to yeah. If it is, because you have the shitty band. Water. World famous for playing one song and one song only. <laughs> Yeah. It's like the Cantina band, you know. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Called the British Cafe. Oh, you, Look how Cat depressed tip. Zug is. Did you see <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I'm no drinking. Back. I'm drinking. Zebedee is so done in that one shot. <laughs> so, all of the tugs have doors in the side of their head. Are there people in there? Well, I mean, they're talking about megaphones, half the characters, so anything's. Very good. All is playing the same. Oh, Livio Saw. Oh, it's Livio Saw, not Livio Saw. Oh, Western Pacific. I'll never live this down. Just when I really had a chance. Oh, who's going to want me now? Sunshine! I really want to see, like, the American dub of this. I really want to see who Rob Paulson was voicing. Sunshine! Yeah. Train. Probably like... Uh, Top Hat or something. Yeah, I'm probably guessing it might have been Top Hat. Oh, I'm just going to be constantly confused every single time I hear like Puffer or the Goods Engine because I've got these whistle as my like, text alert on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Sunshine. Ooh, Model T. Yeah, it's gone in circles. Because you have Model T cars and. Especially the 1920s, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like. It's right at the start, 1920s. Yeah, but the, but the end of the iceberg says that Tugs technically takes place in the Depression in the 30s. That's why Zug was so depressed. <laughs> I mean, Tugs is depressed. Be... Tugs is depressed. Ah, 10 cents. Having sex. Ball slapping sex. Oh, oh sex. sex! Oh, they fucking. <laughs> Wasn't Hercules back earlier? I thought I saw him like next to the big ship, like when the fireworks were going off. Yeah, that could have been from yeah. the. Yeah, that's from the early version. Do you remember the iceberg saying that there was like a different version of it? You're implying I watched the iceberg video. <laughs> also, I just realized. Also, that... also, bear in mind, Lily doesn't have any. Wasn't didn't have any moving eyes. Also, Sunshine's a bit yellow. You can see. Oh yeah. Also, Lily doesn't have a tits on. Where that? Where are they? Hey, what's that? Who's there? Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> I want to bring up earlier. Captain Zero was asking them, "Did nobody see you?" Bro, the stars are next door. That's why I pointed out. <laughs> That's sad. Ten cents. How many faces does Ten Cents even have in the show? Eleven. Like 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 nearly twenty. I'd imagine nearly twenty. Uh, Rob River's a different episode. You know, I just had a thought now. Do you think they can hear each other's briefings 
no. think that they're next door to each other. I just said that's what we said thing. at the start of the episode where the Z stacks are planning their thing against the Star Tugs. Also, something I wanted to point out is. How come, like, the Zed stacks don't have any hair? Yeah. But, yeah, like, the, the yeah. Star Tugs does. All, they all have afros, but yeah. they're tucked under the hats. <laughs> they got facial hair. <laughs> also, half of them, also, half of the characters either do or don't have eyebrows. Wait, do they have eyebrows? Like, some, no. some characters do and some don't. Have eyebrows, OJ does. Like, Zoran has eyebrows. You can see Top Hat does. They just got eyelids, really. Oh look, Hercules is at the briefing for once. Oh my Indeed. god! My boy. Just explodes right there and then. Just <laughs> like... <laughs> oh. No, it just starts sinking. <laughs> Fuck. Just what I want. Sunshine's been given the Star Tugs drip. <laughs> You look oh, great, God. Sunshine. Oh, what did they do? I didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> Why are some of the episodes 15 minutes long and some of them are 20 minutes long? Oh, boy, here we go. This is kind of, uh, oh, oh, VHS. VHS. Yeah. We'll because... just have a brief summary for a little bit. Okay, so the reason why Tux has such a weird thing going on with its runtime is because originally the show was gonna be 30 minutes in length and the first 13 episodes were written with that length in mind. But sometime during production, after they had filmed um, the first full episode, which was Jinxed, I believe, it was decided that 30 minutes would be too long for a child audience. So the episodes were shortened down to 20 minutes and the rest of the season was filmed with that length. And then sometime during that stage, um, they decided that they needed some extra money because funds were low. So four episodes were rushed out onto VHS with their unfinished 20 minute cuts, which were Sunshine, Pirates, Munitions and Regatta. And then sometime before the show aired on television, they found out that they wouldn't have a 20 minute time slot. So the episodes had to be shortened down again to a meekly 15 minutes. And at the very least, the first 10 episodes of the season, which had been edited to 20 minutes, had to be shortened down to that length. And that's the runtime all the episodes that were finished after those four episodes that were rushed onto VHS remained. Boom, there you go, let's continue. I look, it's the first episode I ever watched. Same! This is my first. Because, um... Holy shit. Yeah, actually, the, it was it was this episode with the ghosts and high winds on the tape. Yeah, same. Yeah, the way I the way I discovered Tugs was the exact tape at a preschool I was at, and ah. I ran off with the tape. I stole the tape. <laughs> you you saved it from from being trashed. Yeah, I would say that was the yeah, so if I can steal a Tugs tape from from my preschool, I can steal a Tugs tape from the Star Tugs. <laughs> it's a place like Mittville. It sounds very American. How did you sued over calling him Big Mac? Well, in, in Sally's Lighthouse, he's called Big Stack. Hey, Big Stack. If my nose knows what I think it knows, you've been doing Lord Stinker. Call Big Mac because Mac is a nickname for Scottish people. Because he's a big boy. I think Zug might be my favourite um, of the black ones. What are they called? The Z Z Z wow! <laughs> the black That's the worst shot in the whole program. Like, look at how awful that <laughs> is. <laughs> they were originally going to be called the Black Stack, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, they did change it because it sounded a bit racist. Yeah. yeah. So I'm pretty sure if I was in charge there, I'm just like, Wait, was Whoa there, tip slow over. down there. Oh. Head. Yay, hat tip. Drink. Drink. <laughs> He's got a big ass chin. Oh yeah, top hat. Yeah, <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did he just say? I... <laughs> Once it starts to go, you can't stop it. I would love a bit where like, all the star tugs are like, Can anyone understand this tugboat? Because I sure don't. Yeah. <laughs> We were nearly close to have a gay stereotype on the series. Oh, and yeah. So it's going to be a gay tug? No, no a like barge. a barge. Oh, it's gonna be it was a barge Ray. called it's Sugar be Ray. Ray. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say, I'd argue Hercules is more of a, a gay icon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, get Hercules gay icon. 
<laughs> I was gonna say get Hercules gay. Wait, I thought he just said, I'll get a, I'll get a tug and get fucked then. <laughs> Good boy. Da, 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 da. He's got the same expression, hasn't he? He hasn't got any no, facial diversity. No, this is his only fucking face mask in this whole episode, and his yeah, eyes he never move. Yeah. He has been yeah, yeah, he, had, he finally gains, like, a head moving, eyes moving, and more. We're all the best shot. Yay! Hey. I say oh. goodbye! <laughs> so wait, what? Oh. They didn't do anything. Yellow the water was there. It's piss. Yeah, I love it's that. Piss yellow. Piss yeah. yellow. Piss yellow water. And since wet himself in fear. No, could you imagine if the crew members sometimes just took a piss in the water? <laughs> oh, I remember bringing that up once. Imagine if they took a piss in the water. Just directly on the models. <laughs> from David Mitten, I pissed in the water too. Is this the, is this the same technology as Thomas? Is it like the same biomechanics okay. and stuff like that? It's the same yeah. like eye mechanism, but it's it's not exactly the same because the eyes in Thomas were rounded, and in Tugs, it's literally just a big white sheet with two eyes drawn on it. We are gonna beat you to death. <laughs> Billy Shupak is the weird kid you don't pay attention to at school, but you should be concerned. Yeah. He would shoot up the school if he wanted to. Yeah, oh. he knows his stuff and he has access to the means to do so. Where was Warrior during this entire event? Probably he was like chasing a butterfly. Big, big city. Yeah, Zora's a fucking moron. He thought he trapped them all, but Ten says is here. Warrior's somewhere and so is Hercules. Where the fuck are they? Then again, you can excuse Hercules because he barely appears. He just hit the ocean the top, so he's like out at sea. Exactly. He's Warrior. You see, he's banging Lily Lightship. Okay, John so... Tracy of Tugs. One volunteer to go and see. What do you mean, one volunteer? Fuck you, Will. Why didn't they sign up for the shit? <laughs> what was he gonna do? Like, like, yeah, light the match with his mouth? Like, well, how's he gonna? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's that's very good question. How, how does he set it on fire? He uses his wood. He's a cigarette lighter. No, he, he uses, little... probably uses his stack. Soundtrack is kicks ass. I know. Oh, my favorite, my favorite music. Favorite yeah, my favorite bit of music from Pugs. I love how you could just hear someone in the background going, yeah. Wait, how far did they actually go? Because the tramp is right there. Yeah. Very good question. <laughs> Isn't whoever is delivering the dynamite going to be pissed off that he's blown up a load of it? <laughs> yeah. Like, what if they had to yeah. use it for another thing? It was going to be someone's hey, I thought I heard 12 cases of dynamite. You only brought 11. Oh, no, I already had 11. <laughs> Explosion in the background. What was that? Oh, I didn't hear anything. Uh, that, that was nothing, you know. Apple Bungie. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> pull me in a pole. Shani go low. Johnny right, Cuba looked like he had the Belgian music. flag on his stack. It's the Belgians. Move move on. On. Wow. Move on. That show is so cool, they should use it in the opening. Get on with it! I'm feeling rather sheepish because I've been mining for info on the weather. I come from Canvair. <laughs> We're gonna do Land Down Under, but it's <laughs> Welsh version. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Zebedee. What's good about it? I, yeah, I, I, I say that all the time. <laughs> so yeah. we say, so thank goodness. What's good about it? <laughs> What the fuck is that? Fredo, that's fucking horrifying. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Burger King be like... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Johnny Cuba. 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 I need a tug. I mean a tug. Oh, I'm pissing and shitting and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the uh, one Titanic model that they have. The Princess Alice, I think, in this episode. Princess, Princess Diana for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been a completely different story. Jim oh, yeah, in France. <laughs> Small and like the classic Lego face as well. Daddy <laughs> Scott the Lego you know, meant to grass with If humans evolved to be siren heads, what are the likenesses of the tugs based on? Because we wouldn't have an idea of what humans look like. Maybe humans are based on tugboats. How do we don't know? Well, no, well, no, because Is humans are tug heads, do you remember? I've made tugboats in his image. 
Beca- but would, but if, 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 that, um... if the dominant species on this planet is siren heads, wouldn't they make tugboats with siren head? Um, who says they made the faces? Them? Maybe the faces grow on. We don't. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. I don't have merchandise of this character, but none of the other one. There's merchandise of Zebedee? No, no there's merchandise Coast of the Coast Guard. Guard. Coast Guard. Oh. <laughs> the only Tug's merchandise of characters is Ten Cent, Sunshine, Zoro, and, and Top Hat. Mm. Yeah, and it's all in Japan. That's in Japan. I mean, it's Ertl. So there's a Japanese dub of Tug's? Yeah. 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 You didn't know that? the same kind of reception as Thomas. Oh, I've only really just found out. It's on YouTube, well. but not for like the 2013 sort of the now what, the so best Tugs was, So Tugs okay. was really big in Japan? Yeah. Tugs. Also, Hercules is doing something. Hooray! Oh, God. Oh, look oh, look at Zebedee's like, the wooden parts there, they're just... They were like that. I love how he said that's two now you owe me, even though they should now be even. Mm. He's trying to fucking scam them even when he's doing good. Breakfast. We are again taking our friend, the well known Johnny Cuba. And, and what are you doing? Masturbating? Mm. He is not as long. Mm. Yeah. Also, have you noticed how like two of the tugs have eagles or whatever, birds on top of them? Yeah, it's right. like Ten and Hercules. Oh, wait a minute! The gangster tried to back out, but really does look like the Belgian flag. I'm inclined to think that that was the idea, but then they decided the accent they did from was too racist, so they just changed it. I mean, I highly doubt it. It's a theory, but... That's what I've noticed with this show, is there are so many theories we have of the show. There are so many beautiful shots as well, look at that. God yeah. damn. That's cool. wallpaper material. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that Brit was still fucking... If Brit wasn't as stubborn as she was, she would have led both... It was an extremely awesome. weird lawsuit. Like the fact that her copyright went as far as gray face. Like that's oddly specific. Yeah, because like, I'm saying this now. Like, if she wasn't a stubborn old bitch, she <laughs> like would have let both shows to cross over. Now that's wallpaper material right there. I think that she didn't want Tugs to be as successful as Thomas, so she won't lose anything. Like Thomas was already popular as it was. Yeah. yeah. But, like, this show wouldn't probably be at most, like, compete. Like, it wouldn't really be competing. It would be more like a companion thing going on. Yeah, yeah because but it's... instead it has to be the red-headed stepchild. I don't think everyone would have migrated. The fact that people are still hesitant to watch it to this day. And it's all freely on YouTube. And then Michael Donald doesn't want to release to... Uh, well, we record themes because... He doesn't believe they work as well as standalone pieces. But they're doesn't... beautiful, they're great. I know! Nice to be appreciated, boys. It feels weird that I've actually talked to uh, Lil- uh, the voice of Lilo. She just feels- And you can still- Oh my god! She has a YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Does she? Yeah, she has a YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. Oh good, I- Oh my god, that's- I am- I, I was gonna say, the voice of Lilo Lightship was unknown for years until I called in on our show. And oh my... um, she revealed that she was the voice. But it's so just out of pure luck. Oh my god. Yeah. And oh, um, you're joking, because did you know I'm the voice of Lily Lightship in Tugs? Oh, are you? Yes, I'm. <laughs> that was one of the first voiceovers I ever did. I've never heard anyone. Ringo Starr wrote it. No, it was David Mitten and oh. Robert D. Cardona. Oh. Like the tugboat characters, Ten Cent, Sunshine, yes. Top Hat Warrior. And Lily Lightship, that's yeah, me. Lily Lightship, she was the one with Hercules. And I'm the, I'm the voice of her. I never knew that. Then, with an unhappy sigh, slid backwards and sunk rapidly. Oh. And then he died. Lily was now in a perilous condition. See, that's a good question. Um, so did they make a separate hall for uh, Lily Lightship? Or was it just I built like think... that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because I remember that the iceberg. I think they did just patch it up. I think I asked this question was at the exhibition. I think I think it was Ran or something like that. I remember I remember being told that if look at them all if look at them all now, there's no evidence of that hall being there. 
I know there are some people that do humanized fan art of Tugs. I want to go up to them and ask them, what would this be the equivalent of in their vision? What would this scene be the equivalent of? Would it be Krampus sticking his head up Lily's bum or something else? That's what good pussy smells like. Now for another episode of sticking your head up Lily's hole. Well, I'm never seeing this episode the same way again. LJ. What? Why? Because I can. Could you imagine he breaks his neck? Oh, fuck! <laughs> just... fuck. His head falls into the water. Oh, it's the best character. I like how the continuity works for that, actually, because the Coast Guard presumably still being repaired after what happened in the last episode. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. why the messenger yeah. gets sent instead. I forgot about that factor. That is why I spent so long doing this playlist together, because, like, yeah. I would have never thought of that, actually. Oh, hat tip. Mm -hmm. Oh, drink. Wait, not yet. Yay! drink. Flex in his forehead. You push your eyes up so high that you've raised your hairline. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> he doesn't want to come out. I just want to get some of that big shitty clunge. <laughs> Yes, yeah, smug. You can do it, ten cents. Oh, bro, he's moving now. Yeah. Just sinks, Lily. Just like falls into the water. It's weird how pissed she looks when. Yeah. How like over these years? How does Lily's eye um, lashes not fall off? Or what is it made out of? Is it made out of real hair? Oh, I hope not. No. Or like they probably get one of those fake eyelashes you get at the store or something. Yeah, yeah. I wanna yeah. know like, how like the eye... for years. I wanna know how the eyelids work. Yeah, like, it's what? Lord Stinker! Best and it's character. Chad the Crackler! It's the best character. I love the fact that Lord Stinker's original name is gonna be Lord of the Flies. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I love God, imagine being that, that existence. Instantly. Like being like a grabber. You fucking eat the garbage. This whole interaction gives me a stroke. Today is Municipal Garbage Day, a festival of garbage. A festival of garbage? What is that, Twitter? Not <laughs> uh, that... much trust meetups. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's meetups, it's, no, it's meetups at the Strasbourg Railway. Yes! Oh! <laughs> I don't think oh, we're going to stop that one. Yeah. Good luck with the repairs. Oh, What's the Big Mickey? Question. They've got a banner strung between the roof and Big Mickey. What is going to happen if Big Mickey turns? This is going to be ripped off. <laughs> they were suddenly interrupted by a shrill blast from Blue Nose, the naval tower. Ahoy now! Ahoy! You now! I don't know if Blue Nose had been voiced by Rick May from TF2. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. For a moment, I thought you were going to say Rick Mail. What if? <laughs> Who would he voice? Uh, I would say Billy Shoe Pack, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to blow me up today. You know, it took me like ages to realize Blue Nose actually has a blue nose. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> yeah. This took me like ages to realize that. Come on, grab us. Target practice at 1400 hours. 10 cents rushed off to find OJ. Every minute was valuable now, especially as a plan had to be developed. Is there just casually checking out Izzy's ass as he went past? <laughs> yeah, oh, bro. He's blogging as well. What is it this time? Oh, yeah, that's it. It's not even a barge, it's just a uh, pile of logs. Yeah. <laughs> you take that and his two items of theft report to Captain Zero. I told you I don't care. You ah, I told you I don't care. <laughs> That's literally me with all engines go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like some... See, I love how, like, some oh, of these shows, right, they can get, a get away with fucking shooting a submarine. Yeah, you know, like this is... You know what? I'm gonna be real. I said the first tape I had I trapped. It was the four in one with this episode as well. This is one of the best episodes I saw. Oh my god, I've got that tape as well. This is Clearwater. Hold on. Yeah, I like that is the Clearwater logo. It's the building in the car. I fucking love that. If I can say, get fucked, four eyes! <laughs> Never see the bad ending of this where they all get blown off. How's the um the boat not even notice like all these different tugs just like 
Um, that, that's the thing, right? In the 15-minute cut, the Navy actually spoke out of a megaphone and said, Ahoy, Tabs, clear the area. The TV edit did canonically make them say, oh, they did know they were there. Home at last. No. We have a count for the number of shots they missed there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, someone's getting fired. Wait, are there two boats? Because you have a look in the background there. Or like that's ocean liner. Uh, right yeah, there could be two different lines. I mean, it is a regatta, so... No, I think the one with the red smokestacks. It could be a, a fake one. I mean, the show takes place in America. Yeah. Wait, yeah, and everyone have... else like speaks in like a... They, they all got British accents, Welsh except accents, for... Scottish, you know. Except, except for Zug, who sounds foreign. Peter Laurie. Yeah, Peter Laurie, yeah. No, it's not. Deal is a deal. Ten cents said he let us in on it. Nice job there. Where'd he get the hat from? He got the grappler grabs everything with his mouth. Does he taste the garbage? Yeah. <laughs> that's, what I was thinking. that's a very good question. We mentioned this earlier. He's got a head. Oh, look, the coast guard's back. He's JK yeah. Brown. Yeah. That was fast. Oh, look, there's okay. the ocean liner in the background. Ah, drink. Oh, oh. Wait, how does how does this work? Is it like yeah. yeah. music from a Mario game? Damn, this shot's so good, they should use the opening. Oh wait, they did. <laughs> Just goes out. That sounded so <laughs> aggressive. You know, like WTL Network editing <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And he's got a boner! Oh god. My very first YTP was of this episode. Sad. <laughs> It's cringe. I'm just gonna... I remember, like, years before I even saw Tugs, I saw somebody had adapted this episode with, like, Hornby trains. Oh. No, <laughs> oh you can't. Wait, like, Ten Cents of Thomas, the, um... You literally is the class ball thing that was, like, the, uh, the infected oh. Tug. Fly the checkered flag showing they were in quarantine for... You should not be meeting with friends. If your friends and do wish to meet, tell me to fuck off! The sun gets any stronger today, my varnishal... And it was boiling hot in 2020 during the pandemic as well. Oh my god, they did predict it! Oh shit, you're right. Uh, see, the I would love to see is have cars moving on that bridge. Oh yeah. That would be amazing. That would be so cool. Yeah, if there's cars in this world, then that means humans do exist in this world. Yeah. Funny you should talk about cars, because I think the Fulton Ferry here... Yeah, it's got a ton of them on, yeah. There must be people in that ferry. Which... Fucking drowned. Yeah, which makes for a very dark invitation. Carrying vehicles and freight, there you go. But that means people fucking a... drowned on that boat. There's gotta no be at least survivors. one person steering it. Oh, is how in season 5 they did not bother to rename it. It's still the same yeah. boat. Oh my god, he is Welsh. Oh, wasn't it said that the Fulton Ferry was originally going to have a face? I I think, but I think that might have been a bit too much for kids. Because yeah, I have heard that floating around that the Fulton Ferry was going to have a face. Because there's that, and they also, they do refer to it as a, like a sentient. I mean, yeah, they do that with all boats. They call them all the I asked to start to trust. They probably have something. I mean, they probably won't say anything since you know how they are. How many oh, underwater that's... shots have been in Tugs? Two. They're yeah, both this... episode. There's and then there's, then, there's, then there's a couple in Pirates. Oh, yeah, yeah but they're yeah, black. That. Can't see anything. Yeah, there's that, and then there's obviously this. I love how you can see them in the background as well. Now, for the bit with, obviously, the Fulton Ferry underwater, do you think they did the same trick like they did in Thunderbirds? Probably, because David Mitten did work on Thunderbirds. But how do you make it sink convincingly? You know, that's... No, because didn't they film it in front of a fish tank? Yes. So do you think they did that? Maybe. This does have the periscope lens system, though. Also, didn't the shot from underwater show it, like, being completely submerged, whereas here it's still sticking up out of the water? Ten cents. Try to explain what had happened. Yeah, that piece of audio when Captain Star said ten cents. Yeah, that's that literally from the first episode. Yeah. Because this episode went through so much hell when we dubbed dialogue. 
I was going to say, because a lot of scenes from uh, Sunshine, a lot of them we then used in High Tide. The scene with oh, yeah. With Mac. Look at Sunshine's bumper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, falling off. Whoops. Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. No point hanging about now, though. We've got other fish to fry. Zoran was delighted that two of us... We've got to fry David Mitten's fish and have drowned. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, that wasn't right. He didn't rap. Oh, there's miners and barges and garbage to tow. Gonna blow the old horn, just like so. I had a bit of an accident. I pissed myself. You can fuck off. <laughs> what? My captain star will be pleased. That mouth that Tencent has looks like a mustache. You don't you need me, Zorin? Push off, Zag. <laughs> oh, okay, Zorin. And nobody thinks this is sus. He's up to something. Zorin's the sus imposter. Those tough I never trusted that Zorin. I do believe they see themselves as Sir Francis Drake. It's the Drake meme. Drake and Josh. Sunshine was wise not to go right alongside. I mean, he's pretty close. <laughs> the tramper hadn't yet been examined for infection. As I say, isn't that the um, boat from Trap, isn't it? Uh, probably. Yes. Yeah. Forget them. I'm clean. Anti vaxxers be like. <laughs> kind of the best pro vax, isn't it? Oh, here's a question. Um, how many sets are there that they made in the show? Oh, I imagine it's like six or something. You've got Force Upriver, these scenes in Big City, and the other upriver. You've got two uprivers, the one in Trapped and the one in Upriver. Well, the episode. Let's see, there's the canal, there's the Upriver Town, the Munition Factory, the Estuary. There's a lot. I was thinking, like, how many times do they have to rebuild a set? Oh yeah, because like they filmed all of the scenes at one location, then rebuild. It was the same in classic comics, though. I shit myself. Whoa, was that a zoom? It's been mission over reactor four. Oh, your engine's gone, oh, gee, that's very Epic zoom. That's very sus. <laughs> oh, that is an eerie shot. Yeah, I love it. Like, they're just standing behind him anonymously. I like fucking Grim Reapers. Bro, he's just as close as Sunshine was. But if it hadn't been for OJ, I could have been in quarantine now, out of action for 40 days. Alright, you see a 10 cents cut, and it's true. Don't go on Don't really care. He doesn't need you, Sunshine, you're worthless. You can go back up river. Oh, fuck you, sir. Imagine if, with the full engine and refit of OJ, they'd like gotten rid of the paddle bits and he'd just come back as a normal tug. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah, look at me! It's like Henry or something, it's like... Yeah, yeah. OJ too. Wait, does that mean OJ has Welsh coal then, is powered by? <laughs> I mean, they both do carry the number three. Wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> is OJ Henry? Oh my god. You're infected, get... Quarantine flags up right now, Zoran. You've caught AIDS, Zoran, the classic 80s prank. <laughs> what about the 20s prank? The 20s I mean, prank is the bionic plague of depression. The bionic plague, the classic 20s prank. Oh, did you get your port? Okay. God, think about it. This canonically really takes place a hundred years ago. Oh shit, you're right, yeah. It's just okay, fucking so mad. So that's one thing I do like about the show, is that even though it takes place in, like, the 20s, it's it's relatively timeless for what it is. Yeah, the show's a fucking masterpiece. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> I like the music at the end of that episode of the Taco Bell bong going off in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now this one. I don't know why, but no one else online seems to share the same opinion. Yeah. But out of all the, um... Episode is probably my least favorite. Really? Oh man. Oh no, we pulled down the wrong building. That was the orphanage. There were people in there. <laughs> you sick yeah, fuck. What a promotion! Great to see you off garbage, DJ. I love how in Salty's Lighthouse, the guy in the rock company building is officially called Stony. 
It's also clearly voiced by the same guy that does Zip. Yeah. <laughs> and Top Hat. Oh, yeah. oh. Whose voice actors have good fucking range, I'll tell you that. I wonder if they made this Warriors theme before or after they did the Regatta theme. Yeah. Mm. What a boner! Not even for ten gringo. No Shane, you should know this fight. <laughs> what? How many times does like Izzy say I ain't I need that don't like how many times in the whole show? Probably like a fucking hundred. <laughs> Every single time he's on screen, man. <laughs> Mr. Bart, you wanna give me a don? Mr. Bombastic. Give me the boosty bones. This... Oh hooray, Mama. it's everyone's favorite character. Mama Bui. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will know Pearl, the best character. She looks like a Theodore Tugboat character. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the mouth. Well, you look at Lord Stinker and it's just the whole hole is just his Yeah, Lord Stinker is just... The fact that Lord Stinker has like a nose pin as well, that's what makes it perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another thing I love so much is the little bellhop buoys. Oh, yeah. Th that's a great touch that I like. Has any of the barges, like, like still around or no? Oh, oh my God. Very good question. I don't know. I don't think any of them have been found. So now, like buildings have been surfaced up just because of you know. Oh. I wouldn't imagine they'd be Thomas. I sleep. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> That's me every weekend. Same when... buddy, same. Well, you need a toe. <laughs> when well, you need a toe. Real <laughs> shit. Oh, get banana. Yes, we're out of bananas. Or, oh or yes, god, are. these are pretty cool bananas. We're probably pissing off half our audience. <laughs> <laughs> we are probably. We didn't oh, say god. Izzy did. I remember yeah. seeing this one YTP and Big Mac was like, Sorry, I asked, go back to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I asked, go back to Mexico. You wanna call me as well as it's thanks. Get lost. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, the insults in the in the show is amazing. My God, like they, they <laughs> throwing all the punches. Racism, the classic twenties prank. <laughs> well, I mean, that's still a bit going, but like. <laughs> hey, I'm not racist. He's just a prank, bro. I have the hey, cameras. Why do we have to be mad, bro? It's just game. Shoot, I'm innocent. I'm bro. not racist. I just unload these bananas. I am thinking Gonzalez, the fastest drowning mouse of all of Mexico. Imagine what a Mexican tugboat would look like. Well, probably the same stack as Izzy. I also love how there's literally no one in the box. Fucking sombrero and everything. <laughs> Mexican tug, he'd just be asleep in the corner somewhere. Wow. <laughs> we are losing half our audience. <laughs> No wonder nobody feels like he jokes about Mexico and Clark is like That's why we're not gonna get any complaints about this, because the Mexican embassy, the ambassador's gonna be sitting there with a remote control like this. <laughs> <laughs> they won't complain. So his fuel but their fuel, the Mexican tugs would probably just be really sick. Can't travel very fast. Aussie tug would be um Fosters. Fosters, yeah. A giant Cuba would have. Yeah, he'd be completely powered. Oh, you can see the cameraman's reflection. Oh, I didn't even see that, but can we go back? Yeah, sure. In the shiny part, you can see his head. This is definitely a goof. Damn, PC Gomez, he's thick! Hey, you know, I was actually just about to make that joke as well. Uh, why is this model all of a sudden larger here? Yeah. Is it? It's, oh yeah. It looks a bit larger. Oh, I think it's because right now. I don't know, it just feels like No, it's because they're smaller models next to yeah. it. And it's all dumb, you think they clap at my bananas, he left on the guards. That's the coast guard. I wish we could get the full version of this with Bud is up on it. You fucked up. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh, I love the, the pounding, uh... <laughs> yeah, the 
Oh, he's so sad. Look at him, he's so sad. What if, what, if they did include the deleted scene with Big Mac's barge floating up, yeah. how would he get back down and help? I think Coast Guard and Grampus. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Wait, now that you mention it, I can definitely see where the cut is made. I did own the book, and it had the screenshot of that as a kid, and I thought, what the hell, why wasn't that in there? Do you think there will ever be the Exodus Cuts release? <sighs> if somebody breaks into the Star Tugs, like, stash. Typical thing that I really cannot say. Like, the one thing is, because if someone's going to break in, so they're going to have to get, like, was it like a thing that scans tape, digitize them? Uh, d um, a VCR scanner? Yeah, like, digitize it from the original tape. I don't know what exactly the name of it is, but I know what you mean. Hmm. On the VHS this is on, it plays um, High Tide, then Warrior, and then yeah. Big Freeze. Big Freeze, yeah. What I find interesting, I kind of find that alright, because um, I find I kind of view High Tide before Warrior, because you see in High Tide, Top Hat is working with Lord Stinker, and that kind of keeps that continuity. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there is that. I kind of wanted this one to be where it is, though, because it's the first time they didn't see an old having a garbage. Also, you can see that Warrior is just like, you know, leaning up. It's a shame, because if they bring the show back in any chance, it will all be CGI. It's it's not worth the sacrifice, I think. Well, I think, like, with CGI, like, it really depends on how it looks. If it's, yeah. like, really high quality, like, you know, PS5 level. Because, like, I would still watch it, even if it has, like, the shitty Thomas if, CGI quality. If it uses the 96 scripts, then yeah, please. Here's the thing I don't understand, right? If we have all the props, why don't people just make replicas of these said props and then just do reconstructions or something? It would yeah. take a lot Master, to get the tank for the Master of Weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, his real name. He's, he's doing those, like, he's done one for, like, Zora and Big Mac and a Blue Nose one. I know Unlucky Tug is an OJ replica. Yeah, Unlucky Tug is working on an OJ one. It looks really good. Yeah. If there was a reconstruction of the show, yeah, it would be a lot of work just considering, like, one, you gotta, like, make these big ass. You gotta, you, and you also gotta it, yeah. budget. You'd need a whole crew. Yeah. Because There's no. Like, how the Thunderbirds but... reconstructions are, where, like, you can kind of do it, but, yeah, you have to. Here it's, like, water and everything. Oh, Every I just his head. Did you just notice that? Yeah, yeah. it bounced. I, I, I noticed that first viewing of that oh, episode. Is David Mitten's cameo, he you... voices Rusty. <laughs> what do you mean, where am I going? <laughs> I've been hanging off here for two years. Oh. Only that's time a... we get David Mitten in the show. <laughs> See, that's the one thing I do love about, about shows when the creator voices the character. How do they find that out? Was it just because uh, it's of. It's on like... the Tug's wiki. I don't know how we know. <laughs> Things, One thing I want to point out is that every time you see someone do a right, says oh, I'm happy with himself, then fell asleep, and then later he bumped into. Am I the only one who assumed that the wipe transition or whatever transition it was implied it was all a dream? That's a really good point, actually. Because I'd like to frankly imagine that literally none of that happened beyond him starting his first delivery. I've never heard anyone else discuss whether or not that episode was just one big dream sequence, and it, it's something that's boggled my mind since I was a kid. Oh, so we're halfway there, god. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, um, do we want to stop for a little bit? Um, Maybe come back tomorrow. Day two. The tugboat, for its the tugboat. is the most powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it's Captain Starbeast, Mr. Bean. Imagine what the blind blessed cut. Be. I actually oh do wonder about the Brian Blessed thing, like, it said the Brian Blessed cut is only seven minutes long, so like, did they still have the voice recordings, or did Brian Blessed dub over everyone? I wonder I how they would... Mm. I would I'm, I'm curious of how they managed to cut it down to seven minutes. I, don't know, I, mean, to be, I mean, to be fair, um, Trapped is an episode I could see being told in a, in a lot shorter.
God, this episode looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, also, I'm drinking again, boys. Yay! Yay. Oh, yeah. You know, for, for the fact that they were struggling with... They had financial trouble for the production, it just looks fantastic. Like, you can tell this was a real passion wow. thing. Isn't the mm -hmm. smoke that the Tugs produce really toxic or something? Um, it's the oh, that isn't thing. smoke. It's steam. It's, um, from, what I can remember, <laughs> from what I can remember, it's the same smoke they used for the Thomas characters. And yeah, it's ri at, at least for the first few seasons, it was really toxic to the point where they had to wear gas masks. Gas masks. Oh yeah. my god. And not just that, they also had to use like a filter to get the toxic um, smoke out of the set. I do know that when they were filming munitions, they had to keep the fire door open. I can I imagine that, see. considering they literally went full on Jerry Anderson in that episode. We'll get to that one soon. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah, we'll there. We'll get there when we get there. I was gonna say earlier when Big Mac was entering the, the dock. Could you imagine like there was a blooper or something where he just crashes into like one of the tugs? <laughs> And it's supposed to like uh, the Cranky Bugs episode. <laughs> it's Big Mac yeah. crashing into the dock. Well, he, he could have seen something. There could be I really want to know how Sunshine's voice actor did that weird whistle thing in between the like well, the he's tape. Just really good at whistling. Not yeah. Time. What the fuck? Yeah, but it doesn't sound like a normal whistle. It sounds like he. It, I, I think it's supposed to be like as if he had like a um missing tooth in his teeth. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, did he yeah, actually like... lose a tooth? We don't know. Yeah, we don't know how to Sunshine lost his teeth. But I like to imagine, like, every time Sunshine talks, no one knows what he's on about. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like in a middle of a conversation, it's like, I'm sorry? <laughs> I mean, I could see the same thing with um, Big Mac, considering he speaks with a rather strong Scottish accent. It's like well, Catherine takes now when their Scottish neighbour comes over. <laughs> it's like, I can't understand what the fuck she's saying. Of course I know Dewey. You do know Dewey. Oh no! <laughs> and they were never seen again. What, he just left them behind? Whoa! Extreme close-up! Pretty much! They just died. Yeah. 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 If you think I, about it. Like... I actually do want- I wonder if this was would have been one of the things the original 20 minute cut would have solved, or if it was just always meant to be like, Oh fuck, um, I left them behind! Nah, they're mm. like the blue car and Mr. Bean, they always suffer. He decided to try and sneak in for free with the help of the fog. But he is W in the class. Sneaking in the classic Mexican prank. That's racist. Crime. I, I, I love racism. Okay, 50 must I give you for it all? I get lost. Not for 500, you'll be worth- How do they even pay? How do they pay money? Oh yeah, but, Who's uh, knows? I said this before, when I got the Tugs tape that I had this episode on, that was the first scene I saw on the tape. Just- Oh as my as god. As you didn't even rewind? No, it was it was at that point in the tape, and I had to rewind it back to the start. Oh, oh dear. Ahoy, you there ahead. I'm hailing you. Give you a fair price, get you into port set. I do like the detail of the like the red and the green lights for like port and starboard. Yeah, um, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god! Oh, it's the ghost. So the ghost Take me back. So if they only had two models of the ghost, did they duplicate the models? Though? That was the probably one. what they did. I was gonna say with Zoran's voice actor, they sat when he's going. No, 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 get me. More than one. He sounds like he's pretending to shout, and not like his actually shouting. In the next my, my guess yeah. is that um, what the I guess what his voice actor was going for was um, Zoran being scared shitless, but he didn't want to shout because he thought that would bring too much attention to him. Yeah, like a stage whisper kind of thing, I think. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean the guy has shown he can shout, so it's not like he's doing it because he can't act. I just find it funny though because Zorin's voice actor is technically the only one that actually got credited because he's voiced by one of the show's um, writers and directors. Yeah, Chris yeah. Tulloch, I think, is the guy. Yep. 
return from escorting two tramp steamers out to sea. Oh, two tramps out to sea. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Big Mickey. Mickey. Big Mickey. I know absolutely everyone asks this question, but does Big Mickey move or are there multiple Big Mickeys? Yeah, I, like I, would, say I, I would say there's multiple Big Mickeys. I, I mean, I mean, considering the fact they had to build an entire new Big Mickey model after it got fucked over when being shipped to um, Canada, I... No, it's in, like, in-universe of the show. Oh. Because we know in-universe of the show, the Big Mickey's been moved around, but there are some places where Big Mickey is sat, and it's never said, is it him in character or just another generic crane? Is it possible that his dog Maybe Big Mickey is just a random name they give cranes. Considering there's so much fog and all that around here, I wonder if the crew had nearly suffocated while filming. Imagine if there were no smoking signs just outside. <laughs> breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> If his head was gonna go all the way up to up. <laughs> no break then! <laughs> Who cares? You this just didn't uh, 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 just like, Bitch, what? This is the 1920s, people don't care about health and safety. Yeah, look at the production of Wizard of Oz. <gasps> so so was the ghost tugs um, reused to be Burke and Blair? Yes, and the pirate tugs. Yeah. They're definitely so do, you the think they had two do you think they had two models then? Hmm. It's Wait. like the white, because we see like four white types. So two of them could have been in, made into Burke and Blair that we saw earlier. And uh, the other two must have been for the pirates because it looks like there were four of those type of models. Yeah, I'm just saying, do you think they might have done four models or have they pulled off some camera trickery? I'm going to say camera trickery. So, I love how they never explain the Neptune in this episode. Yeah, they never... Yeah. They never really can. I think they did actually want to come back to it for season two. Yeah, it was doing next season baiting before Netflix made it cool. Bro, Pirates of the Caribbean's my fave. Bop, 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 bop. How many are there? The bop, 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 bop. There's like five now, I don't know. Why? They just keep making them because they feel like it. <laughs> it said that this bloody face was supposed to be explained in like a future season. How the hell do you explain that? I noticed when it was showing the, 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 the face the other two times the footage was reversed. There's a lot of bits in this, uh, in this series where it's like shot or bird shot. Mm. It's still not but as common as Salty's Lighthouse, though. I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah. That was like a really, really, really warped version of those trippy Teletubby segments that got banned. The top hat was still asleep where he tied up. Oh, yes. whoa, rule 34. <laughs> Let's... Stop on the no, I'm I'm That's convenient. Warrior. I find it interesting that Zorin is real on there. So there could have been a scene in the 20 minute cut where Zorin is, is explaining why he brought Izzy in. Hercules. From what I can gather, the, there are rumors that the 20 minute cut essentially had. um. A sort of flashback for of to Big Mac getting like the story of the of the, of the Tux told and one with um um I think it was Zorin like it's either but we don't know since both scripts seem to not even exist anymore. Also, this is the most dialogue we get out of Hercules in the whole show. Yeah, and he's just spitting the facts and making them all look stupid. Where's this Jerome explains things? <laughs> He's mansplaining. <laughs> I tend to over-explain <laughs> things, sorry. No, you're good, I'm just saying. So oh, Hercules is... You just, you just do, that's all. Oh, look, oh, yeah. oh Burke and Blair are there. Yeah, that's what so I was thinking. Have... It could hmm. be Burke and Blair, because they're in I this one. I hate how tiny that boat is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it make it seem so big when Tenzin's and Sunshine the first see it. That's, that's the intention, the reveal, I guess. But don't you know that it um, shrunk in the wash? That's why it's... <laughs> That's my excuse, everything shrank in the wash. 
I like the sax though. The sax is really good. It's actually a real saxophone being yeah. played. Yeah. Oh yeah. Couldn't use MIDI back in that day. I I mean, most of the music was composed using MIDI sequences, so. Oh, what you could? Huh. Yeah. What else do you think the keyboards were for? Oh. Great, we're gonna have an MK M instrumentalist explains now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there is something I wonder, um, that's something I legit wonder. Since Season 2 was supposed to take place on upriver, um, like nearly entirely upriver, would we have seen the big city harbor at all? Maybe, like, once or uh, twice? I doubt it. I think, like, sections of it, I feel like. Like, I think we'd probably, like, see at most the, I was um, sick of it that he would have just said no. Think he's at the river, sweetheart. Why? I'm waiting for him to refuel me. Hercules is just so polite. <laughs> Can you imagine an, an episode just Hercules just losing his shit? <laughs> Listen here, my dears, you little bastards. All of you have been sleeping really on your ship. Get down. So who it is, you're Get down, make love. If there's no fuel barges at any oil depot, where are there any? They'd be up your ass. What? <laughs> Come on. All right. I just realized that. Just I just realized that. You're just looming. Wait a minute, it's the best character! He has a red nose and everything, that's great. I love Zoran's horn. Yeah. Nice also, have you noticed how, as episodes go by, the lighting changes? I mean, yeah. yeah. Now, you can notice in the background there, in the water reflection on that shot of sunshine, you can actually see the blown up warehouse from the end of Upriver. Which pretty much confirms that this is that the episodes in the wrong order. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, Up River takes place when the winter's ending, and it's kind of a catch twenty two. You can't really have either of these in a cohesive order. The only instances where it, she's referred to as Lily's lightship rather than Lily lightship. Mm. I didn't know Boomer got a job as a kerosene fueler. Ketamine. <laughs> what if OJ wasn't here? You know, like, this whole episode... <laughs> they just <laughs> sit there on their asses, umming and erring for 20 minutes. Oh, is that Zach in the background? Wait, Zach. Me a fucking river. Wait, where's Sunshine? There was a show of Sunshine. There he is, right there. Just yeah. good, they're all technically an earshot. Like, Zach is also an earshot as well, if you think about it. I mean, yeah, to be like fair, none of them have Zach ears. Give a shit. <laughs> I like to think that they ba can barely hear, you know? And the Zed stacks sailed off down river. Where's that shoe pack nutter when you need him? That's a very good question. Where is he? I thought that was Hercules in front. What the fuck? Oh, there's like a lighthouse in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> well, every line Tullock reads is just so sincere. It's a reaction image. Well, a reaction video, more like. No. Well, fuck, I have. I haven't signed up for this shit. I've been doing garbage. I realize Warrior has a very similar voice to Paxton. It's just like pitched down. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Got a stupid one there. <laughs> love that line. That's a genuinely great line. Wait, blushing Zebedee, that's new. No, he does it in high tide as well. Fuck a shit for to you. You what? No, no it's that one. Imagine if she just ran straight into Warrior. No, it's like that Lucky uh, one hard. ship in Italy. The Costa Concordia. Yeah, there you go, that's the one. I want to see a tugs episode about that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no. It's full of fuel, but the mantle won't flare. I drove my tractor through your. Oof. <laughs> Put that light out! Put that ruddy light out! It's not for you, Lily. It's for Vienna. Look how sad it is. You bitch. Genuinely. This sadness in her face. Ah, you idiots. We needed that light. <laughs> They're getting five across the arse and we get back to port. They're getting seven across the ass. <laughs> well, knowing Zorin, it will probably be like a thousand across the ass. Today on the Tug's discussion, how do the Tugs spank each other? <laughs> what? 
It's going to be the thumbnail question. Yeah. Is live across the app? We got a contact who's still live in the show to say, does the tug spank? That's the question. <laughs> Is this one of the only few times, except for the star pier, where we see all of the star tugs together? Probably, yeah. I think this is like the only episode with all the stars and the Zeds in prominent roles. Oh yeah, regarding as well. But that was that big city. Right. Mm. But this is like actually having a part of the plot, so... Yeah, like yes. this is the only one where all 12 of them have some significant parts. And honestly, makes it very worthy of being the like the last episode. Yeah, like, it, at, at least in terms of the first season. Actually, damn, Grampus isn't in this one. Yeah. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> where, where was he during all this? Uh, the last time we saw Grampus was well, if you go off this and um, this uh, this one. He wasn't Ghost. It's the Ghost. Yeah, Ghost was the last time we saw Grampus. So far, I think the last one proper is Munitions. Sure. Yeah, proper here is. That's munitions. a good outro. He goes out on a bad pun. You will come in with me. And the and Zip and Zug were never found again. <laughs> Did they get well, arrested? Yeah, Zip was found in pieces. Shining like a film star. Shining like a melody. Like a film star. And it keeps going. I, 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 actually, since he just mentioned movie stars, I just thought, since it's supposed to be in the 1920s, this would mean that this is before sound films existed. Yep. <laughs> so I'm happy. So I'm happy. I, I love that. How would they part. even know? Do they even watch films? How would they? I, 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 I think they probably have like movie nights on Tuesdays. Films were popular in the 20s. I, I don't know if boats enjoy films. I, I don't know if they had like a boat sized drive in. <laughs> wow. Point through. But yeah, there you go. Through. Also, what are two songs in the actual show? The only yeah, song, I think. Yes. This is my favorite music piece from Tugs. Cool trivia here. The woman who sang this was part of a duet, and the other woman in that duet did the backing vocals for that cover with a little help from my friends from the Wonder Years Pro. Oh. oh. I don't understand why sometimes the episodes like like this one it doesn't credit the writer. It doesn't say he was written by. Um, I but this think. Episodes do. Hang on, it's because of it's because the writer is that is credited here, David. Oh, Mitten. There he is. <laughs> I never made that. David Mitten, uh, yay! I am a dumbass. Yeah, basically, when 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 the director of the episode wrote the wrote it, it it will he will just be credited as the writer and director at the same time. Yeah, it will just. Make it. Oh, Even one of the best to be songs. Oh. Episode because Cardi can't order episodes to save his life. Oh, well, sounds a bit rude. <laughs> they put the pause there for a reason. Yeah. You know, it's good fiber. You know. What logs? Yes. If I could swing right round like a record. That is copyrighted material, sunshine. Step tug, come help. Oh no! Honestly, this was, oh, this must have, like, these, like, these scenes must have been a bit more difficult to film than others because of the fact they had to pull the tugs through all the logs. Mm. How many logs did they make for this episode? I mean, that's yeah. definitely yeah. over a hundred at least. There's I gotta be like, like 11 billion. Logs in the studio we saw, right I mean, that one, uh, Thing that Star Switch has provided has a little bit of behind the scenes from this episode. <laughs> no, you. It's a little megaphone. Yeah, I love the megaphone in the window. Oh, megaphone. He got so his bell. <laughs> so, hang on, does it mean that Puffer is actually just the driver? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, huh. With that scene right there, I can understand why Big Mac's like, hull, like, Completely broke when the startups trust like got him. Oh, for fuck's sake, sunshine! I go for three minutes. Oh, you're in the shit. You're already getting yourself into trouble. I love that sunshine just keeps just stays so calm despite the fact he the wood is starting to, to fucking burn. He gonna die. Also, you can see that they just, updated on, him. On. It's got a big nose, bloody hell. Big nose? What was he made by Simon Martin? <laughs> yeah. The more people were pissed off at the fandom. <laughs> more <laughs> people. 
What accent is that? Well, I'm trying to pause it. Really like Newcast Newcastle, I think. It's Geordie. No problem. A controlled explosion is all we need, isn't it? Just explode sunshine in the, in the process. <laughs> I just wish there was an old good. take where sunshine just goes flying in the air. Hello, who Akbar? <laughs> you know, I never. It wasn't until I first saw this episode that I actually truly realized logs are fucking terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, log is all just. Yeah, you log. know, if Donald Trump had built that dam, I'm sure it would have held. Yeah, like, a oh, lack of reaction to that joke. <laughs> <laughs> But I also do wonder how many logs did actually break free because there's still a lot with them. Also, I like how in the David Mitten universe, how at, at any time they build like a new like bridge or something, it just falls apart. Like right yeah. there and then. Like they have really bad like structures. Also, how can how did Puffer probably turn around? Probably some sort of turntable or something. It likely some kind of loop. Mm. It just, wait a minute, wait a minute. It just occurred to me that Puffer might have two megaphones on each on each side. Oh, true. Maybe it might like switch out, you know? Just, like, or the driver's just like switching two, sides. So he has two, two megaphones on both windows. Get behind Get behind you. Go, I'm just carrying a log with you. It's a truck from Pop Goes to Diesel. Yay! And is this the only reason why we never see that truck ever again? Maybe. That's the truck we used for the China Clay ones in um, M the Diesel. Yeah. Well, it was season two, yeah. The same one. I was gonna say it's the same from season three as well. I, I think it's because like Clearwater owned them or something. I don't know. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa. What? Wait! I mean, how come on! I mean, come on! What happened? That building was made out of fucking nitroglycerin. I'm gonna do an edit of that now. We'll be... We're gonna do an edit of that now. Yeah, we're at like, flash on it, this, this, yeah. this building exploding is literally like, um, has the same vibe as the shed exploding in Rusty and the Boulder. Like, there's no reason yeah. for it exploding, but it just does. In town, the church bells were ringing out to warn everybody. You're on the wrong side! Oh, we're shit! <laughs> oh, die, then. No, no, fuck, no, 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 then. Fuck it! Fucking Christ! Don't panic! Don't panic! This is a perfect time to panic. This is oh, a man, I was just having a voice like Clyde Dunn. Oh, I would mm. love that. Or you play, um, Arthur oh. Lowe, like who? Oh, oh, Arthur Lowe. Captain Star, I think. Stupid boy. <laughs> Stupid Kang. I, I, like, I like the little tree that just stays with Warrior. <laughs> what the heck? What is Why with all these explosions? <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, there was, there was a munition factory. I mean, there was a fuel barge, so... Yeah. <laughs> One fuel barge in there, but fucking hell. Why is it a fucking munition factory? It's just world. like Rusty and the Boulder. <laughs> I, I think it's fair to say that David Witten has an, has an explosion fetish. <laughs> it's an addiction. It's an addiction. It's an addiction. Right? So what do you expect? <laughs> this whole it's show Thomas was made. The... Yeah, exactly. This whole show was made just for him to vent his fetish for explosions. I mean, David Mitten is the one who wrote ammunition, so it's kind of telling. Well, let's get this lot cleared up. Come on, everybody. I was thinking That's it'd be great after all those finished. unnecessary explosions. Just at the end, just OJ just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we did a good. Boom! And then it's just has Fuck it! Oh, OJ died! The <laughs> face just fall back in the water. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh yeah, this is before they actually came up with a logo. One can basically fit anywhere, that's what she said. Ahoy, Zug. Hey, where'd you want this bar from the engineers? Turn it up your ass. You don't need this till morning. We might have. No point. I just realized Zug's uh, nameplate. Don't bug me. I've had a busy day. Now, where'd you want it? The funny thing is, if you translate Zug's name into German, he's literally called Train. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. In in Germany, Zug's name would just translate to um Train. 
Maybe he should have hmm. been in railway tug. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you old tub of guts. You it makes you it. wonder. Oh, yeah. Also, it's kind of interesting with Sea Rogue the fact that like his eye mechanism only had one eye on it, even though it's a reused model of uh, Blue Nose. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so since I'm bringing it, time to bring it up again, how do how, how do they do they have some sort of invisible hands? Since how else does Sea Rogue attach himself to Tencent's barges with you his know, it's mind? A, it's Veggie Tales logic, where they don't have hands and just floats. I thought that was about to go into the Among Us. Do, 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 do. Among Tugs. It's like I did. I didn't sign up for this shit. Just immediately backs out like a pussy. Got those wrinkles on his face, but I guess. Mm. He's old. Oh, fuck you. These are the stacks that are the most hateable, in my opinion. I, but I think in this episode, they're really funny, especially near the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Who's that listening over the wall there? <laughs> Looks like Zebedee. Go. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> go to Go to Brazil. Cool. I've heard the rumor. Grampus, what do you know about it? Well, you've lost the ball. How did have Grampus turn around in that shot? Magic? It's, can you, it's continuity error because sometimes it feels like they just use the wrong footage. <laughs> Oh, you see Jack? He was like, he was smoking. Oh yeah, it's 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 about Damn, that whole pretty much scrap plot line. It's a pretty much scrap plot line about Zach's engine being shit. Wait, Zach looks 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 like he's a lot more taller up there than Zebedee. Probably just the angle. Mm. Also, I would love to see. Interesting. Super Sunshine turns up and says, "Captain Star's got another job for you after he's only just arrived at the first job." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to see a version of this where it's just um, Zach's lines and whole show and see how much screen time he makes. Yeah. It's like 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh that music. Those are the Jupiter synths. I mean, the end, a good chunk of the show is composed with bad and alternate things. We mentioned this many times in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna make a super curve that now. <laughs> Just have a counter in the corner. Yeah, every time. A, a counter of every time Jerome repeats himself. How did they do that? The same can be said for that scene in quarantine. That was a really good shot. It actually does make break break make me think of um. How, according to some people who've seen the 20 minute version of Warrior, how apparently they filmed like an entire um, segment underwater, and I'm just like, how the fuck do they do that? It was probably the barge. But like, wouldn't the camera, like, wouldn't the camera break when they put it underwater? No, again, it could have just been a periscope. Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. Dang, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. That's what we said, is that an echo in here? At least it's not for me. I love that warrior face. He's shitting himself. That's one of the few times you actually see them both. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. moving. I like to imagine that those two men just had a slap fight in the room for about three hours before coming to this agreement. So is that a large scale problem? I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Captain Zero's voice here is different from the one he has in. Um, it, no, in um, no. Sunshine? Pretty sure it's the same. I mean, I know it's the same actor, Sean Barrett, but no, I'm pretty I mean, sure he's doing a different voice. voice. No, it sounds the same voice. Like, because on the tape, these episodes play back to back. This is Sunshine. I, I guess it's just because I'm used to him more doing the high. Now listen to me and listen to oh, me, yeah, God. yeah. The more high strung, pissed off variant. <laughs> Also, the door is open, but then the door was closed earlier. And it's also suddenly now nighttime outside, I guess. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe, Who is maybe that? Grampus was a maybe Grampus was originally gonna supposed to find it much later in the thirty-minute cut or something like that. 
It took him all fucking day. <laughs> Just a baby. <laughs> what a detective. You all right? Not hurt, are you? I'm okay, but don't do it. It's wrong. Like he's talking as if they're not still right in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe, maybe when, when they night turn night. off their. Maybe when they turn off their lights, it, they pretty much just don't hear anything anymore. Like they, they just temporarily die. Yeah, they just die. <laughs> they just shut off. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna have the belt fill. Uh, I'm hot. Hit, do we? There he the is. There he is. It's the Bababoo. The Bababoo. The <laughs> and we never see him again. She thought he was about to say, "Of all the tugs, I get the clunge." <laughs> I just love this. I just love this scene because it just shows how much. Um, Top Hat is trying not to strangle Warrior, or at least if he could. Can we understand him of that character? I'm sure Captain Star believes you. And don't pay any attention. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't care about them. It's our gang. I don't believe you. It's not me. Well, does he have two mouths? This tent sounds hard. No. No, he's got two, chin. two mouths. No, it's like a mouth and a chin. Mm. A really pronounced lower lip. I wonder if that, um, like, um, I don't know how to how you can describe Grampus's voice, but I think it's supposed to be sound a bit as if he always has water in his mouth. Yeah, I imagine. Does the tugs breathe? That's a good question. They have noses. But like a submarine, like the existence uh, of being a yeah. submarine is probably painful. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to hold your breath all the time. <laughs> oh god, I just thought, why do I have to be yeah, out here for? I'm not telling you. Yeah. I love that smug face. Rogue is being forced against his will. The real villains have got the old tug and are threatening to scuttle him if Sea Rogue doesn't steal barges for them. I'm sorry, it's a lisp, that that's what it is. Oh, there's yeah. forever the old tug in the old shed. I I see, Grampus, I kind of missed the w part where that's my problem. <laughs> Why the fuck should I care? <laughs> I knew he shouldn't be trusted. Come on. He's immediately crashing the red bars and sets all the flares off. <laughs> music is so great. Oh, it's these like things. Kids. Are those goggles? I, they look like... Hmm. Maybe just head. How, how did they do that? They, they just rammed into it. It was like Warrior, but reverse. Boy. Wait, it's, it's my boy. Is. No! It, no! They that mugged him. Face? Yeah. They, all had, fa <laughs> they all had faces. It's three spooky five me. Man, I'm just about to say that. <laughs> I'm an imposter. <laughs> You're culturally appropriating. God, what a nose! Look at that. <laughs> See, Rook. How can Tux have uncles? Um, don't you know my um, great aunt Ruth was a tug? Don't you know? My cousin is a boat. I'm a distant relative of the Costa. No, I'm not. <laughs> Costa Concordia. Oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> if the villains leave the shed, save the old man. How do they actually achieve getting um, Grampus underwater? Is there like some string or something like that that they can use to pull him under the set or like yeah, the water? Yeah, I think it might be uh, like a mechanism. Probably like a cherry That's an ticker. interesting question. Like a winch or something like, like that brings him down. Well, I think he's on like he's on like a raised platform and he gets the platform gets yeah. lowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. When right. someone walks in on you masturbating. Considering there are two tugs in there, that probably makes it worse. Two tugs! <laughs> what the fuck? Did I just hear a, like a, a seal or something? Yeah, yeah this is a weird ass scene. Yeah, I don't remember seals and tugs. The Navy seals. Gotcha. No one near them! Wait, how does how are these sentient? Yeah. They all have faces. Caps. What? <laughs> Dead. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh go. my gosh. It's like every single episode has to have at least one explosion. You got a super a bit of tick box. Just a montage of every tug's explosion with the 1812 overture. Yes. Yeah. I think Sam did something like that with the, the door exploding from Julia Jekyll. Oh yeah. 
least I could do. And there is a uh, LJ on it. Then, Leo Cannon to Tug. Hi, Hercules. It's you. That's right, I'm back in the show. You you remember I'm me? back, bitches. I just remember, I exist, darling. Somebody had to flash them out, so we did. This whole show is a um, euphemism for toilets. <laughs> this is toilets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I want that show. <laughs> Boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, uh, seriously. Uh, it looks like I'm content for being terrified. Yeah. Oh, what is metal, man? <laughs> Big city port never ceased working. More stock okay. coach, yeah. carried on throughout the night. Yeah, a little out. I love Thomas. Transport played a part in moving goods. I think that is the Johnny Cuba model, just without the red yeah. and the face. Pretty sure they only had like one or two tramper models for the entire series. The whole operation was cold. Without this dirty stuff, industry would have ground to a halt. The amount of narration in this, my god. Yeah. You smell like shit. <laughs> no, he shat himself. That's one of his smells. It's a bad case of diarrhea. With curly sauce. Delish. Now then, now then, how's about? How's about the Jimmy? Now then, Jimmy here, Jimmy here. Captain Star is Jimmy Savile. I've got a letter from I, I want a five year old girl. girl. Invite some children. I mean, what? Asking Top Hat Asking. to deliver the car flops and garbage barge. The garbage barges? I'll show one day, one day. <laughs> garbage barges just trying to go around. Yes. Nice. <laughs> he literally never goes to help him with the propeller. This episode was really I close to this. This episode was really close to not having ten cents in this episode. Also, hmm. Big Mac's only got one eye there. It's just the only one that's on screen. Oh! Oh, I just oh noticed. God. Jesus! That's oh, power in the background. Looks like a penis. You look like a penis. Look how big Warrior's cheek. <laughs> look at Warrior's cheek. Cheek. He looks look quite much. <laughs> Oh look, it's the Millen Produce Company. Millen! <laughs> Millen! It was now loaded and ready to move off. Now why wouldn't you just put that rig down horizontally? That yeah, convenient. No, easily end in like five minutes. There chance. wouldn't be a story then. <laughs> True. What time you call it, say? You forgot what Zach oh. sounded like. Big mouth. What do you say, big mouth? Big mouth. Yeah, he predicted big mouth. Big mouth and there's no ITP6. Boomer in the background. Wait, what? Hold on. Is he? You can see like a tint of yellow and orange in the background. Big Mickey moved. Oh, that kind of fucks this whole thing up then, doesn't it? Well, again, the whole Boomer story is kind of messed up just because, like, the end of it is the houseboat, so it doesn't go anywhere. Fuck all you will, I didn't sign up for this shit. Where they establish the stack has engine problems, but just don't pay it off. Yeah, yeah. it's supposed to be a fuckwit. I mean, I guess the only thing was a better idea. I mean, I guess the only reason why they bring it up here is so he can can be like, let's use that shortcut. Also, there's that half boat that they have in the background. Oh yeah. They're not narrow boats. <laughs> can we have a wide warrior? And there's Big Mickey in the background again. Yeah. God, they didn't go far, did they? Michael. Oh, I forgot about Frank and Eddie. I forgot about these two. Hmm. <laughs> where? <laughs> Three. We'll see. Two. That talk about having Zach being the Why one. Why would you that try to show? drag well, that top thing top under the bridge? Moving. It's not gonna fit. That's what she said. I mean, you could say that about every single double decker bus driver in this country that gets wedged under a bridge. Does that say milk on there? Yeah, no. the milk building. Oh yeah, this is the twenties. 
No, I said eighteen twenty, so it's like a hundred years. It's still twenty. Or before, sorry. Eighteen twenties tugs are all sailboats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. This is sail. Why did the face go on a sailboat. Um. The hull. Sail. The sail. Yes. Yeah, so oh yeah, it'd be like it'd be like um skiff. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's what the hull would be skiff. Like skiff. I, li I like that that Lord Stinker is like I'm willing to die because it's just garbage. Fucking kill me. He's just so done with shit, like... He's suicidal. I'm only carrying the tugs from the Star Tugs shit exhibition, it's fine. <laughs> I got down and besides, this my boat. next stop is Star is the Strasbourg Railroad. Yeah, okay. That is a hell of a shot. <laughs> and there he is again, he's everywhere, god. You can see the train was going very fast and now it's just going really slowly. Oh, Probably yeah. because he realised, oh shit, the bridge. <laughs> What, what the oh. How are the Wait, tracks electrified? Because this is a model railway. And we needed well, an you're not wrong. some kind of explosion in this episode. That's the best we're gonna get. It, the, the gauge these are though, like, the tracks wouldn't be electrified anyway, they're just remote control trains. Did Mitten just wanted to see an explosion, don't question him. <laughs> Such an amazing, like, suspense moment. I don't give a shit! <laughs> I'm just gonna have to kill myself for years! <laughs> I've been wanting to drown for ages, the way this will stink me! Look, it's the Strasbourg to put us where it belongs! The, the chains are uh, Lord Stinker's tongue, he just like wraps it around. Yeah. Oh, that's scary like, to think about. That's <laughs> Melon! Melon! I wonder if Melon Produce is like a direct competitor of San Juan Buenos. Oh yeah, we had San Juan this episode as well, didn't we, Dan? Oh, munitions! Yes, context with this one, when I first saw it, I had every episode on tape except this one. And it was after I watched them all millions of times when I went to a relative's, they had this episode on tape by chance, I saw it once, and it fucking warped me. Question, do you think I should get a bottle of booze and take a shot every time there's an explosion? <laughs> I and mean, just a bottle of cider with me. Just take so a sip. It's kind of saving you there, John. Even, even if it's not confirmed, it's speculated that Sean Barrett voices Blue Nose, which makes this scene really funny. God, yeah, that's literally talking to himself for the entire scene. That I mean, to be fair, Sean Barrett is literally Tux's equivalent of Keith Wickham, since he voices like yeah. at least since He's in at every least episode. Seven characters. Like in, in, in at least every episode, he voices at least two characters. Oh. The guy who voiced Top Hat's a close second. That dude's nearly 90 now. Oh, yeah. I Sean swear Barrett to God. Is, Sean Barrett turned like 80 this year, I think. Or like oh my last God. year, I think. Do you think they ever attend Comic Cons? Probably not, just considering how obscure it is. It's the boy with the big chin. The Jay Leno. The J who is the, the boy? He is the boy Jay Leno than Warrior. <laughs> Sorry, Jay no, Limbo. No, I, Jay Lim I was about to say sorry, my bad. Hey, it's everyone's favorite. Are oh, you reaching fire chief? You know the fuck off. And Sean Barrows is talking to himself again. You say to me, you little shit. <laughs> oh, no, oh, you're not that pretty Mercury. Yeah. I was gonna say it was like the fire tug barely shows up, and I keep forgetting it's a character. <laughs> He literally never even moves his eyes or head. Well, I'm glad we have a 20 minute cut of this episode because of the. Oh, yeah. Fapping around us. I love how his monogram falls out. Look how happy Sunshine is! So happy! <laughs> oh, so adorable. I like that sense of space with both teeth filled in. I just realized the fire tug had like, switched what direction he was facing in the background. Ooh. Wow. He's very quick at turning one AC. What's he doing on his own, the little shit? Yeah, I thought he was supposed to need a toe. He never learns. And there he is again! <laughs> when Mexican. will you learn? <laughs> you stupid Mexican. My favorite wow. scene. Danger. <laughs> wow! Danger. Wow, okay. <laughs> I like it. The, the skull and crossbones is in quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. If they come too close, just blow them up. Yeah, but with your hoop. Wow, he's actually inciting <laughs> violence. Zach is a terrorist. Confirmed. Mm. Zach is a secret member of Al Qaeda. 
This is why he never got a spotlight episode. Uh, actually, he does speak with a, a bit of an... Maybe he works for the IRA. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh! I, I love how tense the music in here oh! is, despite this being so simple. I love how serious they take the fact that, yeah, this shit is dangerous. I mean, it is basically a fire PS in the most extreme way possible. Red Sam has nothing on this. Be cool about fire safety wishes it could be this intense. You naval twat! Give way to the right! <laughs> okay, don't my bloody barge, man! Jump! I can't jump, I fucking don't! Tenzin's like, I'm gonna fucking strangle him! Yes, I'm gonna rape you, I will! I'll rape you too! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Dead stacks are bad enough, but Blue No, oh, he's something else. Wow. Uh, yes, Blue No, my favourite character. <laughs> yeah, my favourite type, Ooh. the Popeye one. <laughs> I just realised you, you could cut the Krakatoa down to him saying crack. <laughs> also, you know, Zorin's nameplate. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's a bit <laughs> It's probably gotten slightly melted, they may have like, filmed this out of order. <laughs> Move aside and make way for blue nose. Go and draw your pension, OJ, you bastard. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. And... Uh-oh. Kaboom! Here we go. Well, oh, here fuck. we go. I can't yeah. believe you've done this. Ready with the ball. Let's one. There we go. <laughs> Oh. How is he blocking the way? What? <laughs> my explosion. Six. 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 Jesus. I'm taking I very little scene. <laughs> By the way, apparently this sequence took oh, them like... Uh, to, from what I can remember being told, this ex like this whole sequence took them like two weeks to film. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I can imagine. Get ready. Mm, 16. Now. There goes Big Mickey. 17, 18. 19. 19. Oh, 20. 20. <laughs> yeah. 21. 21. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Big Tell, Mickey. Cra Tell Cranky and Carly I'll see them in hell. Bloody hell. Where he dead? 22. And Big Mickey died. 23. The prop didn't get destroyed. The cup. Uh -huh. 20. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, we're actually <laughs> counting. Oh, my we're, God. We're both regretting <laughs> Yeah, let's see you. You're going to hurt. 24. <laughs> 25. 25. 26. <laughs> 29! <laughs> Fucking hell. 29! 29 explosions! Oh, Holy cow! Taste it out my mouth. <laughs> 29 explosions, okay. You're just gonna have to waterfall. Uh, Wait, who water? else is drinking? Who else is drinking? Not me. Oh. I wish no. I was, but... Oh. Oh, we don't oh, have that. ends! <laughs> Animal, Malvin, Malvin. So what they will do? Is the one I will set under your tracks if you don't get a move on. Get a move on, Slope. Thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. That noise. Oh. Thirty-four. 
Oh, girl. We're at 34. At least. 35. 35. 36. 36. Isn't there anything we can do? Like what, dummy? A breather. Come on, let's get a bit sick. Come on, number one. Nice. Come, on, come on, you stupid bastard. The uh, David Mitten's Tom's tank engine film, it, w it would have looked like this. This would have been the World War II movie. 37. This is the stream's dead, go home. But 38. 38's gonna be any second now, I know it. No, it. There it 30, is. 39. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 40! No, I, I, I counted 42 now! Uh -oh. is caught fire! And also, get... Oh, 40. 30. 41. I'm just gonna point this out. This, this um, disaster has only been going for under five minutes. It's only the second half of the episode and it feels like the majority oh. of it. 42. No, drag him into the fire. Oh god, how did he not melt 10 seconds? How did he not catch fire? How is fire? he not catching yeah. fire? That's a very Flame good resistance. question. I don't know, I wanna... This is such a cool episode, just generally. I think we fucked you, I think we fucked you over, John. What do you mean? I'm here with a fucking cider bottle as well. Leo, I mean, Leo, you're probably going to be what, wasted what, after this. What's the alcohol percentage of black cider? We're going to need subtitles by the end of this. 43! Get the fuck out! 15% volume liqueur. 44 explosions, fucking hell! 45! 45! Uh, he just hits the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He just drives straight into the fire. Gets himself stuck in it. Damn. Good question. What the hell was Zip and Zug doing during this episode? Yeah. That's a 40... They were at the munitions. 46. 47. 47. We're almost to 50. We did 48. See 48. Not earlier. Oh no, 49. 49. Oh god, here we go. 50. 50. 50. Jesus. 51. 52. 52. Oh. 53. 53. 53. Four. 54. Oh. Rise. Oh, I just realized I'm out of fucking cider. 55. The bottle's empty. <laughs> Shit. 56. 56. What? 56, what the fuck? Well, that was 57, I just saw. He's drowning him! Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> But he's a train, he's fucking... He's not a... 50, 57, 58, 59! I counted 59! And... 60! 60 or 59. 67, no, 61, sorry. 61. 61, what the... He's dead! Forget about him! <laughs> You what, man? Oh, for 62. Oh, fuck. 63. 63. Yeah. 63. And the 64. danger kicks in. 65. 65. 66. 67. 68. 69. 70. 70. Fucking hell. 71. <laughs> and the final explosion. 72. 72. Fucking 72 up. explosions in under 8 minutes. That was 72 explosions, that. that's crazy. Michael Bay wishes he could make something this cool. That That's more explosions than in an average Jerry Anderson episode. Again, if you saw this when you were like 7, like me. Did you drink in that man as well? <laughs> oh my god. No, no, I David, miss, David dog, Mitten must have loved <laughs> filming this. Oh god, I can yeah. imagine everyone David in the studio choking on the fuse. It's my favourite scene. It's a standing up and just stay walking. Can you just imagine, like, every stagehand choking on the fuse? He's alive! Fuck it, Al. 
didn't know if I could make it back. Did you say fucking make it? Did you say, that's what I said. But never have I brought in the switcher and taken away. And taken away? A bit here. <laughs> oh my god. The warrior. Just mm. The fucking drinking thing killed me. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, so, you know the twitching thing that um, uh, Blue Nose is doing? I wonder if that's like a glitch in like the. Uh, in the model. Yeah. Oh my god, if. if you don't, it will destroy you. I could actually imagine uh, imagine that being the case. Like, I can. They, Wait, did I, it just have I a just, moral at the end, like, be careful you, with fire? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, had a direct message. I, I mean, let's be honest. Munitions is literally a, um, fire PSA. PSA dis disguised as a disaster movie. Oh, the tux are intensified. Yeah, YouTuber. I, I mean, I mean, when you, I mean, thinking about, actually, I just realized something. Jinxed. It, no, actually, I don't think there's a single episode that David Witten directed for Tux that doesn't have an explosion. The sunshine. Oh yeah, but Wait, like, no, he direct, did he direct it? I don't know. I, what, but from what I can remember, literally every time David Mitten directed an episode, there was some sort of explosion. I'm pretty sure every episode but Sunshine has an explosion. Yeah, it was an, actually it was written by Gloria Tours, I think. I, I don't remember, but but it's definitely that um, whenever David Mitten was behind the director's chair, there were a lot of unnecessary explosions. The dude was a pyro. <laughs> Fuck, he will. He didn't sign up for this shit. <laughs> I was about to say that Jinx didn't have an explosion, but then I remembered the barge. <laughs> yeah. Incident. Oh yeah, that, that, that um, scene. Also, it took me ages to realize that Boomer has hair. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What are you, some kind of boomer? That thing, was, that thing wasn't even attached. Damn. <laughs> Spitting facts. Facts and logic. What did you just say? What did you say about me, you little bitch? Seen. Your go. mum. How the fuck should I know? Well, I'm not telling you. Even though Up River is my favorite episode of the show, I think like the scene that follows this is my all-time favorite Tux moment. When he pulls him out of the yeah, this bit. Yeah, yeah. When when Captain Star's phone, megaphone just falls down for no reason. When I was a kid, for some reason. Okay, I Boomer. <laughs> Yay, he said it. Say, Boomer. I my son. When the microphone falls. The voice is still coming out of the microphone, but on the floor. I don't know why I thought that as a kid, but... Apparently, before I can gather, the joke is um, that Captain Star runs down and picks up the megaphone again, but now it's damaged. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that actually works really well. Like, the idea of him still using the megaphone even though it's broken is hilarious. <laughs> like, he didn't have a replacement. I thought the Fox and Fairies back. Hey! Oh, it's you so at the end the end of, um, uh... Zip or something in the background. Yeah, with Lord Stinker. Oh. I just love his. Hey, what the? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I actually didn't understand a fucking thing, actually. There's a hungover boy. Yeah, yeah, the boy. The boy. The boy. Just have today. two bell, just have two bell boys that look like you and Leo. <laughs> That's all I can do. Not. I'm pretty sure one of Boomer's windows open. If you look at the bit where Boomer's sinking, you can see one of his doors is open. Huh. Oh, yeah. That's cool. We had a smoke and get out in the earlier scene. I love the fact that... Can we just talk about this kid <laughs> show with a legitimately suicidal character? Ah, uh, the kid that show. Is actually, right? That's actually a very good point. Like, Boomer just wants to die in half, half of the episode. Basically a tug with depression. <laughs> yeah. The show is ahead of its fucking time. Hashtag depression awareness month. Yeah. There's two megaphones. Why has he got two speakers? Big yeah. Jeffrey. <laughs> Call him fat, mighty man. Call him the poor guy fat. He's compensating. He's got two megaphones. 
Where's like the like gun? the reactions from everyone from all the weird shit happening is just like, Oi! Me, my arms jammed. Yeah, the fact that uh, it is legit superstition. Oh, it's sunshine. Sunshine, like in the middle of nowhere in that Why shot. Also, also, this just reminded me Whoa. in um, when they test out that ten cents whistle is the reason everything sings. They literally kill one of the boys. <laughs> yeah, they fucking sing the boy. Me and the boys. Their life must be hell. I mean, the fact that you're chained to the ground also, and you can't even move. Yeah. It's like, just, like and you're always being and you're always being knocked into by other tugs. Yeah. Can we have a super cut of every time they say oi in the show? Yeah. Oh, that we can. Weird if you're like an hour long. I could never Leave tell it. what was going on when it was on tape. It was way too dark. I, I couldn't tell it when I saw it on YouTube. Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> the fuck? Just because it's the Wait, munitions on, contract. Fire tug? Yeah, yeah he has a, a, a different face. Explosion. <laughs> he has a weird prototype face in this one scene. I mean, I mean, you have to keep in mind, um, Jinx was the first properly fully filmed episode, so that yeah. could explain it. Also, nice ride. This is stock footage from Sunshine. Bro, yeah, extended, more, more like extended. Oh, You're saying we got though. extended footage. You're saying about the fire tug, that being a prototype face, because this is an early one. Literally later in this episode, he has his right face on. My, my, my guess is that um, they during the up. filming of the episode, they just switched the faces around. They just messed it up and put the prototype on by accident, I think. That's <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> Coincidence? I've been thinking. Also, I just this find is the German Coast Guard. What are you thinking about? Also, I just find it insane that Tencent's voice actor, Simon Nash, was just 16 slash 17 when he voiced Tencent. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but you said. Look, I know what I said, but I've changed me mind. Nah, it's her, innit? Auntie Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> and that's letting you off lightly. If your dad was here, he'd give you a right good idea for ripping my clothes to shreds. Yeah, if my dad was here, I wouldn't have done it. Like a popcorn bucket. Yeah. Why does Boomer have a gun? Why does Boomer have a gun on him? It looks like a KFC bucket or something. No, look on Boomer's deck. Bitch, like I'm dying! I think it's like a water Boomer, hose. Oh my god. Oh my god, uh, oh my god. Warrior, it's a has well. a gun on him. He has a yeah. gun on his deck. So oh. that's why Unlucky Tug has it on his PFP. Actually, that's a good point. What the fuck? That they is a gun. Wait a minute. Like, they never bring that up in the episode. It's never been acknowledged. Maybe, that, maybe that's a scrap plot yeah. point from the longer cut. It doesn't have it now. Okay, but don't toot. Don't toot, ew. <laughs> Reverb fart sound effect. Oh look, there's San Juan Banana. Bananas. Now I think about it, do we see Izzy Gomez in this episode? Not in the well, finished part. No, we, no, we don't. Actually, this actually brings up another question for me. Izzy Gomez was shoved into the uh, into the whales that exploded. How the fuck did he survive that? <laughs> well, I mean, he's big. It was probably just like his tip or something. Hey, it's the credits. Man, well, you know, I, look really that's cool that's actually always the what I wondered. Um, how would they have made Jinx work in thir in thirty minutes? Like it's like this is such a simple story that I can't see it being stretched out that long. Have him do even more oh, stuff. Jason. <laughs> Yeah, but then it feels like the episode just drags. That's probably why they cut it down then. <laughs> True. We fucked up, that's what happened. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the 30-minute cut actually showed Bo um, Boomer getting struck by lightning. Don't ask me what happened, it was cut out for time. I just like the fact that Tux un sometimes implies some sort of supernatural or superstition exists in their universe. Sunshine, take Boomer to lunch. Canonical tears in three, two, one. There we go. Ever again. No, I don't like the sound of up either. There's a ship's graveyard there. Well, too bad. You're going to be spending season two up there if it was finished. There's Big Mickey. I like Ten Cents is telling Sunshine what's up river as if Sunshine didn't live <laughs> yeah, there for the, like, the entire pre-season. Yeah. 
nowhere to be seen. You know, I always wondered, is the reason why we don't see humans humans in, in the show because they thought they would, because they couldn't make, like, realistic enough looking ones? Yeah, that's why I think, I think they just look like crap. See, I would love to see the alternate universe where they just use live-action people. I think there was, like, one episode of Theodore Tugboat that used humans and they just look like freaking Playmobil. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, thinking about it, in Thomas it works because um, it matches the aesthetic. Yeah, but because Tonks goes for a full-on realistic-looking aesthetic, it would clash horribly. Yeah, exactly. Dun tugging. Me after. Dun tugging my dick. It's all I ever wanted. Thank you both. I always just think Boomer looks like he's wearing earrings with those yeah, things. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. he looked like earrings. That was a bit weird. <laughs> it's just showed predicted trans people. For oh, God's <laughs> Boomer is a true trans icon. He became Boomer after this. <laughs> Boomer, yeah. It's like Boko and Daisy. It's oh, hi, Sam, you're right. What the yeah. hell are you doing? Oh, no, I swear it's to God, for this a Tug's watch along video. They asked me to make this, this Photoshop for them. If we're watching this in this order, Boomer would be the last character they introduced in the whole show. Yeah, and the final yeah. shot would just be the text saying, Done tugging. <laughs> and he was very happy there. Like, look, because literally, the that's the final shot. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, that's the final shot. Reminds Boomer me of one missing. <laughs> that was so, like... that is Tugs going through. John, what do, what, what do you think of it, about it? Does it hold up? I something? think that I am slightly intoxicated. Are <laughs> you same? If you're a Thomas fan, I suggest it, but modern day kids wouldn't, wouldn't find this interesting. I find that argument a bit bullshit. I still think it's a masterpiece and that just anyone in general should check it out. For sure. Yeah. Like, it's like if you like m miniatures and models stuff like that, you'll like it. But You've got to appreciate the bits, model work. There's definitely some bits where it's like the ex explanation of shit. To, I mean, like, yeah, it's a kid show. The thing is, Tugs never actually knew what type of demographic it was supposed to be aimed at. Like, yeah, it was gonna be like on kids TV, but in actual, but in reality, when when they were making the show, they didn't think, yeah, this is a kids show, or like they just yeah, didn't know what, what demographic. Yeah, what child would sit through munitions without yeah, they... needing therapy? <laughs> it is basically the definitive cult show because the target audience were literally the only people who never watched it. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, also. Um... Like, with a lot of shows, like the, like, Jerry Anderson stuff, we always mention that. With those, they're not made for kids. They're made for, like, everyone kind of thing. Well, like correct. a general <laughs> audience kind of thing. Yes. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's also easy to see with Tugs that, like, David Mitten was like, yeah, I, I, I can do well with Thomas, but this is what I can do when I have full creative control. Yeah. Especially with all those explosions. I mean, I think for season five. Some music pieces from Tux would later on be recomposed into Thomas Beams. Mike O'Donnell said in the recent interviews that that's a myth. Like, that's, they're not connected at all. Yeah, mm. but, like, I'm, I'm not saying that it was intentional, but they unintentionally sound similar. Like, you can hear some very similar progressions and all that. The voice acting sells it as well. well yeah, the, the voice acting is really, really good. I feel really sorry for the voice actors, as well. Yeah, that, because, because, they're yeah, never because, credited. Yeah, outside of yeah. Chris, Chris Tullock, and he was just credited as a director and writer, none of them got credited at all. Not even legends like Patrick Allen. I think that would be like a tagline on the cover or something, where it's like, starring it, this person. We but need to get I, a Blu-ray of this series. The fact that the voice actors were uncredited is so sad because it's generally some of the best voice acting I've ever heard in a show. Because oh, the yeah. characters sound so natural, even yeah, the ones that have like these, adults. That's like the they have, even the characters that have these very exaggerated, weird voices, like, like Zach. Yeah. Zach. <laughs> yeah. Basically, they are still voiced and have tones that sound. Old, basically. That's the big difference between this and every other kid show. The fact that the characters actually do talk like adults. It does right. not talk down or simplify. It's like, it's this like, is how people talk. This is how they converse. This is... It's even funnier considering that Tencent talks like an adult when his actor was a teenager. Well, also, like, hell, even characters that only appear, like, once. Like, Old Rusty. 
distinctive voice going for it. Yeah, I, I, I still think it's debated whether he was voiced by one of the show's regulars or if it was David Mitten. And one more thing I love about Tux is that so many things are just so chaotic or like have so much tension in it because of how they're written and scored. Like the, like the climax of Warrior, it's literally just them preventing a, a boat from falling over. Over <laughs> one. Yeah, I know that's a bit chaotic, but you have to keep in mind it, it's it's someone who's literally just loaded with bananas. I, I'd say that Tugs definitely had potential, but it just didn't really get executed right in terms of the like, like you said, the target audience. It was like the, the television. television. It was the, just the model. A Tugs job is never done, but on the way they have some fun moving boats and pulling rock, helping clear them something clock. <laughs> You want to talk about penis videos? Like, even during production of the series, you could kind of tell they were fucking shit over. The fact that we got, like, little to no merch over here as well doesn't help. I mean, at least Tux existed in certain countries. Germany didn't have it at all. I mean, I find, I mean, I find it weird that out of all the big markets out there, Tux some, somehow made it to Finland. Like, it managed to get to the UK, Japan, which makes sense, yeah. And, yeah, and Finland for some reason. That's legit. It never made it to the U.S. Well, I mean, there were. Yeah, I mean, there were more times lost his lighthouse, but that's another story. Now this is the point where most people, like 99% of people, would do this. <laughs> out of this house! Out of this house! I mean, yeah. there was also the attempt at a U.S. stop, but yeah. like, I mean, but... if we're gonna talk about Shitty's whorehouse, then we're gonna have to like take a few shots first. Oh yeah, I'll be for another day. Tune in next time to hear... My little pony. This was a mistake!